Hi and welcome back. So one of the supplements that's garnering a lot of attention of late, uh, mentioned also by David Sinclair, is that of CoQ10. What I'm going to do in this video is cover the benefits that CoQ10 may be able to give you and also where you can now buy CoQ10. Coenzyme Q10, also known as CoQ10, is a compound that helps generate energy in our cells. Our bodies produce CoQ10 naturally, but its production tends to decrease with age. That said, you can get CoQ10 through supplements and from some foods. Health conditions such as heart disease, brain disorders, diabetes and cancer have been linked to low levels of CoQ10. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. CoQ10 is a compound made by our body and stored in the mitochondria of our cells. The mitochondria are in charge of energy production. They also protect cells from damage and disease causing bacteria and viruses. CoQ10 production, as we've said, decreases with age. However, there are other reasons you may be deficient. Nutritional deficiencies, such as vitamin B6 deficiency, genetic defects in CoQ10 synthesis or utilization, increased demands by tissue as a consequence of disease, mitochondrial disease specifically, and more worryingly, a side effect of some statin treatments. One of CoQ10's primary functions is to help generate energy in our cells. It's involved in making ATP, which is involved in the energy transfer within our cells. Its other crucial role is to serve as an antioxidant and protect cells from oxidative damage. Given that ATP is used to carry out all the body's functions and oxidative damage is destructive to our cells, it's not surprising that some chronic diseases have been linked to lower levels of CoQ10. The highest concentrations of CoQ10 are found in the organs with the greatest energy demands. These are the heart, the kidneys, the lungs and the liver. Heart failure is often a consequence of other heart conditions such as coronary artery disease and or high blood pressure. These conditions can lead to inflammation, of the veins and of the arteries. Heart failure occurs when these affect the heart to the point that it is unable to regularly contract and relax or pump blood through the body. In a study of 420 people with heart failure, treatment with CoQ10 for two years improved their symptoms and reduced their risk of dying from heart problems. Another study treated 641 people with CoQ10 or a placebo for a year. At the end of this study, those in the CoQ10 group had been hospitalized less frequently for worsening heart failure and had fewer serious complications. It appears that treatment with CoQ10 could assist with restoring optimal levels of energy production and improve heart function. Female fertility decreases with age due to decline in the number and the quality of available eggs. CoQ10 is directly involved in this process. As women's CoQ10 production slows, it makes the body less effective at protecting the eggs from oxidative damage. Supplementing with CoQ10 seems to help and may even reverse this age-related decline in egg quality and quantity. Similarly, Male sperm is susceptible to the effects of oxidative damage, which may result in reduced sperm count, poor sperm quality, and even infertility. Several studies have concluded that supplementing with CoQ10 may improve sperm quality, activity, and concentration by increasing antioxidant protection. Your skin is the largest organ in your body and is widely exposed to damaging agents that contribute to aging. These agents can be internal or external. Some internal damaging factors include cellular damage and hormonal imbalances. External factors include environmental agents such as pollution and UV rays. Harmful elements can lead to reduced skin moisture as well as the thinning of the layers of the skin. CoQ10 applied directly to the skin has been shown to reduce oxidative damage, 
caused by UV rays and even decrease the depth of wrinkles. People with low levels of CoQ10 also seem to be more likely to develop skin cancer. Abnormal mitochondrial function can lead to an increased calcium uptake by the cells, leading to decreased antioxidant protection. This can result in low energy in the brain cells and even migraines. As CoQ10 lives mainly in the mitochondria, it has been shown to improve mitochondrial function and help decrease the inflammation that may occur during migraines. One study of 42 people showed that supplementing with CoQ10 was three times more likely than a placebo to reduce the number of migraines. Additionally, CoQ10 deficiency has been observed in people suffering from migraines. One larger study showed that 1,550 people with low CoQ10 levels experienced fewer and less severe headaches after treatment with CoQ10. So it appears that CoQ10 not only helps treat migraines, but also may help prevent them. Oxidative stress can affect muscle function and therefore exercise performance. Similarly, abnormal mitochondrial function can reduce muscle energy, making it hard for muscles to contract efficiently. CoQ10 can help exercise performance by decreasing oxidative stress in the cells and improving mitochondrial function. Oxidative stress can induce cell damage and this can result in metabolic diseases such as diabetes. Abnormal mitochondrial function has also been linked to insulin resistance and CoQ10 has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and regulate blood sugar levels. Supplementing with CoQ10 may also help increase CoQ10 concentrations in the blood by up to three times in people with diabetes who typically show low levels of CoQ10. One study had people with type 2 diabetes supplement with CoQ10 for 12 weeks. This significantly reduced fasting blood sugar levels and hemoglobin A1c and this reflects the average of the blood sugar levels in the body over the past two or three months. Oxidative stress is known to cause cell damage and affect cell function. If your body is unable to effectively fight oxidative damage, the structure of your cells can become damaged possibly increasing the risk of cancer. Interestingly, cancer patients have also been shown to have lower levels of CoQ10. Low levels of CoQ10 have been associated with an up to 53.3 higher risk of cancer and indicate a poor prognosis for various types of cancer. One study also suggested that supplementing with CoQ10 may help reduce the chance of cancer reoccurrence. Mitochondria are the main energy generators of brain cells. Total mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to the death of brain cells and diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Unfortunately, the brain is very susceptible to oxidative damage due to its high fatty acid content and its high demand for oxygen. CoQ10 may help reduce harmful compounds, possibly slowing the progression of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Our lungs have the most contact with oxygen. This makes them very susceptible to oxidative damage. Increased damage in the lungs and poor antioxidant protection, including low levels of CoQ10, can result in lung diseases such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. One study demonstrated that supplementing with CoQ10 reduced inflammation in individuals who had asthma as well as their need for steroid medications as a treatment. Another study showed improvements in exercise performance in those suffering from COPD. This was observed through better tissue oxygenation and heart rate after supplementing with CoQ10. CoQ10 comes in two different forms, ubiquinol and ubiquinone. Ubiquinol accounts for 90% of the CoQ10 in our blood 
and is the most absorbable form. For this reason, most people recommend supplementing with this form. The standard dose of CoQ10 ranges from 90 milligrams to 200 milligrams per day. Doses of up to 500 milligrams seem to be well tolerated, and several studies have used even higher doses without any serious side effects. Taking CoQ10 supplements with food can help your body absorb it three times faster. Your body does not store CoQ10, therefore its continued use is recommended for you to see the full benefits. Supplementing with CoQ10 appears to be well tolerated by humans and has low toxicity. Participants in some studies showed no major side effects after taking daily doses of 1,200 milligrams for 16 months. However, if side effects do appear, it's recommended you divide the daily dose into two or three smaller doses. That said, you should always check with your healthcare provider before you begin to take any type of health or longevity supplement. While you can easily consume CoQ10 as a supplement, it can also be found in some foods. The following foods contain CoQ10. Feel free to pause the video and check them out in your own time. Of the big three, only Renew by Science and Pro Health Longevity carry CoQ10 at the moment. Hopefully Do Not Age will catch up. These are the prices. Renew by Science will sell you 90 200 milligram capsules of CoQ10 for $52.95. Add to that the 10% MyNMN discount code at checkout, and that's reduced to $47.66. So Renew by Science will cost you 58 cents per day. Pro Health Longevity will send you as a one-time purchase 30 400 milligram regular capsules for $38.49. That works out at $1.28 per day. And remember the standard dose is between 90 and 200 milligrams a day. So 400 milligrams seems, in my humble opinion, a little bit overdosed. So Renew by Science works out at 70% cheaper a day, which is $21 a month cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative. And if you're looking for a supplier of CoQ10 or to change your current supplier. I hope you found it helpful too. I personally don't take CoQ10 at the moment, although it's definitely a supplement I will consider adding to my stack in the near future. Let me know in the comments below if you do take CoQ10 and let me know specifically if you do, if you've noticed any tangible benefits. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.